Hello guys, this video will cover how you can delete parts of the mesh to make it more difficult to delete. And real quick, I just want to know that when you course practical sci-fi design, you will learn to effectively model inside of 3ds Max and plasticity, and then use V-Ray to create procedural materials. And all without leaving Max, you will learn how to do color correction, volume light, lens effects, and use V-Ray's decal system to create quick decals. So be sure to check that out in the description. So one thing I love about plasticity is how easy it is, uh, how flexible it is when it comes to terms of deleting things. A lot of programs use like a history system, but that can definitely slow down the program. I think a lot of programs that have that, you will see that it has a very slow performance. Plus, this it gets around that problem, it doesn't really have a, a like a history system, but what it does have is a very flexible system. You can just, you know, if there's something you don't like, you just select it and delete it. So it's very flexible in that way. Sometimes other situations where it's more difficult to get rid of things. And I'm going to show you uh, one such situation, how you can approach things like that. So let's say, for example, I went ahead and boolean this uh, this little sphere. I cut this away. I did a filler here. All right, how can we get rid of this? If I just select this right here and press X, uh, you can see nothing is really happening. All right, so a lot of times if there's a fillet attached to it, we need to go ahead and remove the fillet. You go ahead and hold down Alt, left click on this. And that's like the whole kind of a loop, if you will, if you're used to a polygon modeling, it's kind of a loop right there. You press X to delete that. All right, so let's try it out now. So I'll select this, I'll press X. All right, nothing's really happening. There's another filler associated with this, which is this one right here. So if I hold down Alt and left click on this, you can see the problem is it's like in the whole mesh now. So sometimes plasticity kind of knows where the loop is and sometimes um, it kind of does this. But not to worry guys, because we can always manually select it by holding down shift and then left clicking, we can manually select this right here. All right, let's press X to delete that. All right, let's try it out now. As you can see, now it works. So sometimes guys, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good practice to get rid of the fillers associated with what you're trying to delete. And in general, guys, you want to avoid doing the small little uh, detail fillets. So let, let me give my little speech about what kind of fillets you should and, and shouldn't do. So uh, if you're creating a, you know, a box here, if you're if the fillet is part of the design, if it's a large fillet that's part of the design, you can do that. But you don't want to do the small little fillets like this because they really slow down plasticity in the whole process. It is much easier to work with unfilleted faces than it is to work with filleted faces. Everything just becomes... a uh, uh, much more of a hassle. I mean, here it's very simple. It's not the best example, but you know, when you have a very complex mesh and you, you're doing like a very complex rotation, it works a lot faster without lots of fillets. I mean, let's see if I can, let's see if I can set it up real quick. Let's see if I have like a bunch of little fillets here. All right, and then let's say I try and rotate that. Um, you can see it's much more problematic and, and much slower. So definitely guys, um, if you still want to do those fillets, what I recommend is either using in, in your in your rendering program of choice is to use like a, a render render chamfer which you know all good render programs uh, engines have that or when you're done with your modeling make a make a backup of your scene you know do a do a save as and then on that other plasticity file then you can go ahead and do all the small fillets and that way you always have a backup of your mesh before all the fillets so you know, I, I tend to be, it, it's, a, it's a guilty habit of mine to just do lots of micro fillets, but it's kind of a mistake to do that. So it is a good idea to save all the fillets uh, until the end. All right, let's see, we want to get rid of this piece right here. You know, same process. All right. Sometimes when you, when you give large fillets, uh, you get this more complex situation here. But let's see if we can uh, delete our way out of this as well. Sometimes delete does not work unless you have multiple so you see if i just press x right now it's not working because i want to select this as well all right and uh, we can delete that all right and uh oops let's see, let's see if we can't uh all right see if we can't delete that. All right, you can see it's not working probably because this is part of it as well. Uh, this loop is not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and manually select this. All right, so this is this is a chamfer going around here. That's why it's not really looping as well. But it's okay if we select all this, uh, it should work. 
and this one as well. All right, so let's see if we can't make that work. Right, let me try to um, let me try to just delete that. All right, let's see here. So you can see I couldn't quite delete the chamfers, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete them uh, piece by piece. So a lot of times, guys, when you use the chamfers instead of pillets, uh, it becomes more complex. So another another thing to be aware of is uh, be aware of chamfers. They do kind of tend to break things uh, more than fillets um, but you can see I, I got rid of most of them right here uh, but you know chamfers do create kind of problem areas here so uh, uh, be aware of chamfers but you can see if you just kind of select things in the right order and carefully go by uh, piece by piece in the right order you can delete the chamfers as well um, but chamfers are uh, more problematic so you know be careful with chamfers they're a little bit dangerous they're a little bit spicy so uh, be aware of them but you can see uh, we're getting rid of the chamfers here as well. You can see we're getting rid of them. Yeah, so no problem. So once again, if you just go in the in the correct order and just be careful with it, uh, you can delete the chamfers as well. But you know, once again, be careful with chamfers. Uh, they are more difficult to to remove. All right, for this situation, what I would do is select this and I'll press C and I will left click on that, hold shift uh, to add these as well. And we're gonna see if that works. Okay, it doesn't work, but remember, we do have this surface. So all I need to do, let's say if I wanna remove this piece, I'll select this and I will uh, shift D that. Actually, uh, let me add this as well, all right? So I will shift D that and just kind of isolate here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can uh, select these edges and uh, delete that. All right, you can see we're kind of getting this. So I'm just kind of seeing what I can do here. Well, let me see if I can extend this. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and I'll press um, Shift A for the line tool. I'll go ahead and press K for knife and I'll knife this to this. And now I'll select this and I'll press uh, Alt J to uh, detach one. I'll delete that, All right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select these and I'm gonna go ahead and press F and uh, extend, let's uh, extend the sheet. All right, we, we, got, we got this extension happening here as well. Um, but let's go ahead and select this. We're gonna select our main object, hold shift to select that, press Q. And uh, as you can see, we're now able to delete that as well. So uh, extend sheet also comes in handy. So guys, uh, these are some tips on how you can uh, just you know, delete what you've, what you've worked on, delete the chamfers and the fillets. So you can select a part of it. Sometimes you get cool results by actually deleting like a part of it, like. Like, even like, uh, like that, for example. But once again, if you want the whole thing, just go ahead and kind of add that as well and delete that. So uh, plasticity is very flexible. Once again, um, two tips to take away is be careful of chamfers. They do mess things up more often and avoid smaller fillets. Save that to the end on a, on a copy of your file. So that way, plasticity will work faster, it works smoother. 
and uh, you won't get in trouble with fillets. Thank you for watching and take care.